This video is a finished system with a Solark 15KW inverter. And it's got the uh, Fortress Power Evolt Max. It's like an 18 kilowatt hour storage battery. It's a 48 volt system. Uh, there's our output from the battery. It's just two wires, red, black, and then a comm wire, CAN bus, a CAN bus for Solark. Uh, the CAN bus Solark uh, cable is directional, so just make sure uh, if you're doing one of these installs that you uh, take a look at the labels on the, the cable itself so you put it the right direction, otherwise it won't communicate. Here's the inside of that Fortress power battery. It's really nice and easy, big wiring box. It's got pre-knockouts on the side for COM and for the, the power cables. Uh, it's an internal disconnect. And then here's the communication block. Uh, really nice top opening. Uh, it's got a touch screen, so you can touch the screen. You can see what's going on here at the battery. Uh, there's the on off button. You're gonna make sure you push that button for at least 10 seconds, otherwise it won't activate the battery. The screen will turn on, but the battery won't be active. And then your inverter will have a fault saying there's no battery. So make sure you hold that down. Uh, we have two generators on site. We've got a, a big 20 kW generator and a small 5,000 watt Honda generator. Uh, so there's a transfer switch there. Go back and forth between the two. One is a two wire auto start. Uh, we have the solar converter actually wired to the bigger inverter with a two wire start. I just use pins seven and eight to open contact to close it, start the generator, good to go. Uh, we've got generator coming in on the, the grid terminals. This is a fully off-grid system. So yeah, best is to land the generator on the grid. Uh, it'll use the generator, charge batteries, run loads, things like that. Uh, load output. We oversize the wire, so if we ever get a bigger generator or anything like that, we'll be able to pass through. Uh, maximum amps with this 15K uh, inverter. The uh, output load comes over to this panel. It's just a 240 volt 120 panel. Uh, this is where we then feed the lights and outlets. We also have a 100 amp breaker that feeds the house. So this is a power panel in the uh, electrical room. It's kind of a separate electrical room from the house. It's just like maybe 20 feet away. Um, so yeah, we have the house, electrical room lights and outlets, a couple spares. Uh, we've got a battery tender outside for the battery that's on the generator. So we ran a circuit for that. Um, installed this really nice four foot strip light. Uh, it's got a motion detector. So you come and go, it'll turn it off, won't waste battery. Uh, this solar converter is connected via Wi-Fi or LAN. Uh, we've got it plugged in to this little Wi-Fi extender. We also uploaded it to the home's Wi-Fi. So, you know, you kind of have both options. Uh, there's like the overall inverter on off switch. There's the solar DC switch, so on off there. Uh, here's the screen. You can see right now we've got generator coming in, uh, 3KW. It's like negative 10 degrees outside and almost snowing. So we've got 500 watts of solar, not much right now. So it called upon the generator. Uh, looks like it's 160 watts to the load. No, not much on in the house uh, right now, but it's charging the battery about 3,300 watts. Really nice interface on the Solark. It's really easy to use. There's a couple of different options. What's nice about the closed loop communication with the Fortress battery. So once you plug that in, it kind of does all of its own settings itself. It just uploads to the solar converter. So it's telling the solar converter where it's at, battery percentage wise, all that good stuff. So they kind of talk to each other. Uh, we have this solar set to shut down the system at 20% battery state of charge. And so if this runs down to 20%, what it's gonna do is try and start the generator. If it can't start the generator, It'll then shut the whole system off, but there's about 20% left, so it'll just run the inverter until the next day. 
say sun comes up finally, you know, snow comes off the panels, be able to use the solar to charge up the batteries. Uh, we have our cut in percentage at 50%. So basically it'll charge up to 50% until it turns on again, just so you're not cycling on and off. Uh, we have solar outside. There's some solar on top of this building here that we're in now. Uh, a couple more solar ground mounts on a pole. Um, what's nice about this solar converter is you can add a ton more solar. So there's three MPPTs. There's two inputs per MPPT. And so right now we've got two pole mounts and one on top of the shed. So we're using all three MPPTs to pretty much maximize the output of the solar panels. Um, that's pretty much it. Really cool. It comes on wheels. This thing weighs a ton. It's like 530 pounds. So you really have to like plan for that. Be able to get it where you want it to go. Uh, once you stand it up though, it's got wheels so you can roll it around, which is nice. Um, 18 kilowatt hours of storage. Uh, these batteries can be daisy chain. You can daisy chain them together, uh, or you can land, say, a second battery in the solar converter. There's two inputs in the solar, so it makes it nice. You can land it there or just daisy chain uh, the Fortress Power battery, and then you can uh, just use that closed loop communication between them all, and they all talk to each other. It's a really smart system, works well. Uh, very easy to install, set up, things like that. So uh, you can see that conduit up there. That's our two wire start going out to the generator. Uh, so what that does is it just closes that, closes that loop, starts the generator, generator run. Solark does all the uh, communication, does everything it needs to uh, to keep this system up and running. You know, with solar battery and generator, you can kind of run forever, which is nice. Okay, well, yeah, if you got any questions, let me know. But this uh, this is the system; it's up and running, and uh, we've got we've got a nice snowstorm outside. I'll uh, show you outside. Really cool house up on top of this hill. Really good view.